the parameters that I, that I uh, stated for the boycott were, um, you know, to one to either get the boycott to, to get the ban for Blitzchung lowered or nullified completely, and it was also based on the <clears throat> the uh, the who's who's what's it's uh, the how Blizzard acted uh, during a uh, BlizzCon, and while they they did give us the shallow sort of like corporate apology we at least one got an apology two they didn't th th there was no like public uh you know ball looking of china and that's really all i was asking for was just don't, don't at least you know don't do like lebron J uh, lebron james did and and like kiss a kiss their uh, another freaking government's ass and finally yeah, uh they, jeff they went to the US and they apologized and then they went to china and were like totally didn't apologize well here's you know, if they do that shit once they're just gonna do it again he will it be he... really easy for them to get caught doing something like that i mean all china would have to do is just go have go on an elite government guy's computer on the uncensored internet and it's just like oh did they actually apologize yes they did uh oh well that's why they made a recording china, and they said like we apologize but we didn't mean it yeah, they did do that. However, Jeff Kaplan, the the VP for Blizzard, uh, came out emphatically against the ban, and he 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 stood with the the uh, the, the protesters, and, and there was and, and finally the gamers really did sort of rise up, I guess, a little bit, and uh, <laughs> the gamers yeah. rise up. They they rose up, and at least a lot of them did go to freaking uh, BlizzCon. A lot of them did protest outside, and the. Uh, uh, the the Q and A the Q and A's during BlizzCon were f uh, infested with uh, uh, pro Hong Kong pro, pro Blitz Chung uh, types. So, you know, at, at this point, I'm just going to take what I got, and I'm very happily like I'm I'm actually planning on making like a video uh, praising Jeff for doing what he did because God knows he just gets shit on all the time for Overwatch stuff. But I figured maybe at least somebody from the 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 pro Blitz Chung side. If someone said it, I think that would at least be kind of meaningful. And that's that's what at least that's what I think anyway. Blitz Chung just kind of reminds me of Wang Chung. Wang Chung. <laughs> Wang Chung, like like martial art Wang Chun. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking more like the song "Everybody Wang Chung Tonight." Everybody oh. Wang Chung Tonight. There's a problem with Riley. What's wrong, Riley? He's dashing oh, home. Shit. Oh, okay. Okay, other rally, got it. Yeah, we, we, we gotta come up with like a cool cause, like, I don't know, like, would it be rude to call you Riley 1 or 2 and him Riley 1 or 2? <laughs> call this guy Riley 1, he's better. <laughs> Jamone. Alright, alright, let, let me do, let me do my fucking stupid intro. <laughs> uh, alright, 3, 2, 1. Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to the MoCast. I'm your host, Mo Diggity. And today we're talking about live streaming streamers and just streamy, weemy, bo me, whatever the fuck you want to hear. <laughs> and joining us is like, we have a bunch of guests today. We have Ether, say hi. Hello. And Kim jong Shil. Oh shit, what up? Uh, Riley Brooks. Hey sort of our unofficial co uh co-host co co-host but we're, we're gonna have be a official someday well we're, we're actually gonna have a talk about that later on after the episode just stick around and of course uh robin the official co-host what's up and tom the terrible or as he's named today tom the okay it's tommy the okay Please tommy right. tom oh my bad tommy the okay my bad my redo bad. the entire intro Redo it. Tom no, Oliver from yeah, the from Procrastinators the podcast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So today, of course, this would be a great time to talk about live streaming services, streaming in general, because uh, Disney Plus finally launched, and a lot of people Disney are... Disney Plus is fucking wild. Dude, uh, a lot of people are creaming themselves over Disney Plus, and a lot of people are hating Disney Plus for a lot of valid reasons. Like the the launch for it is apparently really really shitty. Uh, if you if you're a Simpsons fan, apparently they have the aspect ratio all fucked up. So now you're 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 having to go. People are going back to pirate sites 
or uh, uh, pirated streaming sites to watch The Simpsons properly. And I wasn't sure if anyone's actually subscribed to Disney Plus yet. Uh, would anyone who Me. has? You have? Well, All right. My family is. Your family is? Okay. Yeah. Well, Robin, let's go ahead and start with you. Uh, what's your immediate first impression of Disney Plus? It's probably all right. It's probably not that bad. Well, the, the like price doesn't seem terrible. Like, what is it? Like seven dollars a month? Have you seen anything that really just jumps out? <clears throat> Sorry, have you seen anything that really jumps out to you that you'd want to watch almost immediately? Because everyone's Mandalorian. the Mandalorian man. I'm really looking kind of forward to the Mandalorian. I don't think it looks bad. Uh, the <clears throat> The premise of it is supposedly supposed to be uh, a Wild West on freaking Star Wars steroids. And immediately, I'm super, super into that. I watched the trailer. Nothing, you know, there, there doesn't seem to be any, like, politics or anything. No one's uh, trying to have an opinion. It just looks yeah, straight up. Uh, God, I, I, I'm praying that there won't be. Uh, but you. so far, oh, hold on a sec. There, uh, apparently, it does look pretty damn good and if they're going the route that i think they're going with it i think it's going to be i think it's going to be a damn good uh, t uh tv series <sighs> but that's uh that remains to be seen so far a lot of uh a lot of the mandalorian first episodes uh uh, uh impressions and opinions seem pretty positive uh tommy you got anything to say about that I was about to say, indeed they are. Um, Google reviews actually gave it a 97%. Every, and it's Damn. very rare that Rotten Tomatoes, IMBD, and other fucking plat, the reviewers have the same sort of, same-ish sort of quotes that they give to the uh, show as the viewers that actually watch it. Because usually you see, say the Joker had a very low rating, but the viewers that watched it, or the regular Joes, they fucking gave it a fucking great grade for it. So it's very rare that you see this type of stuff. So I don't know if whether it's because usually I'm a nihilistic bastard and I always have like a negative outlook on life. I always think maybe it's just people that, you know, buy Disney Plus are more like liberal and left leaning. So they just gave it good grades or, you know, maybe I don't know. I'm just hoping that it doesn't have any of that stupid politicized shit where, you know, they I mean, you're not going to get a good rating from critics unless you have some sort of real world correlation, yeah. which basically yeah. just means left-wing political morals. Yeah, you don't think the MAGA people the are subscribing do. to Disney Plus? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I I don't know what types of people watch Disney stuff. Um, I'm not from America, so I wouldn't know what types of people, but I see the big uh, ratings from the viewers as well, and I'm thinking it's gotta be good if both of them fucking like, if both of these people, then I guess it's gotta be good. The kind of people who watch Disney are chicks. Like, you ever just like hang out with a chick and she won't fuck yeah. unless you put on like Mulan or some shit <laughs> come on babe I can only have sex with you if we watch Mulan but we watched it five I times I can only get sexually excited if we watch Mulan I can all... it makes me feel empowered I can, all... I can only I watch Mulan that's actually happened to me before and that's why I bring it up just I can... one chick would want to watch Disney movies all the is time is it because you're Asian? it's possibly I just I can, want to imagine if you don't watch Frozen, my pussy will be frozen. I've been walking into the fucking bedroom and she goes, uh-uh, no, 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 say the lines. He just goes, let's get down to business. To clap these buns. I, I can only climax at the end of Make a Man Out of You in Mulan, okay? But God damn, dude, that's that's fucking crazy, really. So like, a, you've had a chick that had sort of a Disney fetish, and she can only get to that point, the point she wants to get, if y'all are watching Disney or something Disney adjacent. I, I don't know if it's because she was watching, or because she was watching Disney that she got horny, or if she just was horny and wanted to watch what, Disney. Like what I don't know. What specific part of Disney made her get so horny, other than Mulan, of course? I, I I don't know. Like she she'd like just start singing. Movie. She'd start singing and shit. I assume it's just the musical part. Put on Finding so, Nemo to so find I'm... that orgasm. She's oh my singing. god! <laughs> yeah, she just starts singing along with it. Wait a second. Um, hmm. trying to think maybe, of something. Just, what was that? You know... Wait, does the Lion King get her wet? If so, she's a furry. 
Uh, possibly. Oh dear no. God. Oh no. Oh no. That that's something we never really thought to uh, talk about. I was like, well, maybe she actually has sort of like maybe her persona is like the little dragon in Mulan. Maybe she sort of, or maybe she identifies, or maybe she, or maybe, or maybe she identifies as Eddie Murphy. I don't, I don't freaking know. <laughs> Was Zootopia a Disney movie? I honestly don't remember. Yes. yes. Okay, uh, does that turn it? her on? Uh, it was Pixar, yeah. Was, Zootopia That's wasn't a thing a... at the time I was dating. Oh. Well, maybe make contact again and ask. Because now I'm curious, were you ever dating a furry? Uh, it's possible. I mean, she was degen enough to be vegan, so probably furry, too. Oh, dear God. Yeah, you probably have, like, a full-on, like, freaking Zootopia. Let's bang to Zootopia in our yeah, little fursuits, uh, furry. <laughs> You know that Look, I'm not a furry, but La Pony is sexy, okay? What? <laughs> I'm not a furry, but La Pony, La Pony is, you know. Oh, Lo I, 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 I have no idea what you said. <laughs> it's, a po it's a Pokemon, Mo. Oh, alright. See, I'm not into Pokemon, really, so alright, alright, alright. I, I guess that reference is lost on me. <clears throat> but uh, so far from what I've seen a lot of people who are huge into uh, cartoons when they are younger like Gargoyle, Darkwing Duck it seems that all the great hit, uh, greatest hits are on Disney Plus so I see a lot of boomer types like you know my age uh, giving Disney a huge pass on a lot of the bullshit like it, it's, it's kind of crazy how Disney really just needs to release a few cartoons that everyone loved to sort of forgive them for becoming this uh this monolith, this uh, uh, this disgusting like uh, uh, Akira anime blob that just assimilates everything media uh, media related, because that's it that's hurts, what's happening. It hurts my soul that Disney Plus has like all the cartoons of the universe, but it doesn't have American Dragon Jake Long, the objective best Disney cartoon of all time. I have literally so, never heard of that. I have, it's and it was best. fucking dope. It was dope. I was I used to watch it when I was. The first season was yes. kind of yeah, though. There's not a second of American Dragon Jake Long that is not the best thing in the universe. Nah, the first season's kind of eh. It's not, it's not the best. Damn. What is American Dragon Jake Long? He's an Asian boy in New York. He says all the cool slang. You're like, wicked! And also, he turns into a dragon. I yeah, feel like he turns into a dragon. Part. Flies around. Is this some gay weave shit? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think so. It's a cartoon, not an anime. Yeah, it was a, it was a cartoon. It was on Disney, and I remember watching an, an episode or two with with some friends, and it's like, what is, what is this children shit? And you just see this Asian kid with like green hair turn into a dragon. Like, damn. He opened eyes. It's fucking dope. Yeah. Dragon. It yeah, seems you... like, it seems like Disney was trying to make an answer for Ben Ten. Ah, that, I'm pretty that sure this was pre Ben, ben 10. Ten. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Didn't well, Disney make a Jackie Chan show a while back? Like a yeah, Jackie while Chan. Back, yeah. yeah, Jackie Chan Mysteries. It was really good. I mean, yeah. okay, <laughs> Disney Plus is going to be the only streaming platform at some point. No, Disney it's Jackie owns, Chan like, Adventures. No. Disney. I think owns, you're getting like, Jackie Chan Adventures and Mike Tyson Mysteries mixed up. No, oh, oh, okay. Well, my bad. I, I love Mike Tyson mysteries. I have season one. <laughs> I have season one. I love the shit out of it. I'll, I'll watch it every day. Hell, I'll probably watch it tonight. I, I, I vividly remember that or, or the Jackie Chan show. Um, I think there were like three or four seasons. They all. It started off where they were um hunting down these talismans or something. I don't know. My memory is really vague on it. Wasn't there some like stupid bitch, twelve year old girl who was Jackie Chan's? Yes, back that was Jade. Jade, the one in the orange shirt, who always ate, who always ended up completely derailing everything, but never ever got blamed for it when she was indirectly the cause of every single problem in the show. See, that was a that was a problem I hated back in the old Disney days. Is that there was always sort of an influx of uh, useless side characters and useless sidekicks that would just well, she screw was the, every. She was the is one of the main characters. But she oh. was the main character, except for Jackie Chan, of course. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I was gonna no say, if you're gonna characters. say Jackie Chan is the main character of Jackie Chan Adventures. 
but she was they one of the main characters. Have, alongside they have to have a small a child Uncle character. Guy. Sorry, well, I was just saying they have to have like one small child character, you know, so it doesn't just big man beat up everyone. So you want to say like it's not the size that matters, it's how crafty you are. Well, let's be real, it is size that matters in any fight. Prove me wrong. <laughs> well, most sometimes you just get you got speed, dexterity, and all that stuff. Then yeah, again, I think I, I I think I played too many RPGs to to uh, uh, to weigh in without any kind of bias. But anyway. Uh, the, the one thing about Disney Plus I'm really psyched about is having Gargoyles and Darkwing Duck and, and Tailspin ever again. Now, you want to talk about early Fursona stuff? Like, I, I honestly think that the industry is like, just like brimming, is filled to the brim with secret furries. Because if you look back at like old 80s and 90s Disney stuff, oh, like oh, everything was that. anthropomorphic. Do you remember Chippendale Rescue Rangers? I remember Chip yeah. and Dale Rescue Rangers. And this Gidget. is one of my favorite ones. Yeah, Gadget. Oh, yeah, Gadget. Um, She was basically your... Uh, um, She was definitely a persona, wouldn't you agree? I I, I can honestly say that. Sex appeal. Dude, yeah. yeah. Uh, in fact, in fact, uh, another furry... This is uh, SWAT Cats. Do you, now, this is this is off topic, but do you happen to remember SWAT Cats? No. What the fuck is SWAT? Okay, SWAT cats. That, that's a, that, that's some old boomer shit. That's some old boomer shit. Don't yeah. worry about. It. Uh, but SWAT cats was this uh, like late '90s extreme with an X type uh, cartoon that the networks were trying to push because extreme stuff was all the rage back then. And so one of their one of their uh, uh, characters was this really well dressed, really beautifully drawn uh, uh, cat, and Ted. Uh, Ted Turner, the the one who owns TNT, TBS, and all that stuff, Turner Broadcasting Network, uh, or station, excuse me, uh, he canceled it because he said the one of the that that one cat was too pretty, and this is bad for uh, America's youth, and he got it canceled because of that. They will become the furry. If only he, if only he were uh, alive. Well, no, I guess he is still alive. Is he dead? I don't, I don't give a shit. You know, I don't give a shit if he is or not. Jesus. Oh, no, fuck him. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, that that was that was a reason. Like a uh, uh, like the furry stuff, man. Like people think too deeply sometimes with some of the stuff. But once you get like the head of a network saying, you know, that 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 cat girl is just drawn too pretty. Uh, you know, you, like sometimes, man. I, I don't think it's it, it, it be, but it do. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean artists like do tend to like do. drawing their characters in a way that they find appealing. So no, in some it's cases, not I think it's maybe a subconscious thing, but I wouldn't disagree that there are lots and lots of furries in the industry. Actually, so the reason was before before furries actually existed, the reason why they drew them like that is because they can't draw any like smutty stuff. So if they draw their characters to be more animalistic than, you know, human, then they can get away with like slight mm. smut. Which is why they drew them like that yeah, for you know, yeah, for yeah. kids, yeah. for kids and adults to like it. Actually... So you know, that's the yeah. sort of underlying reason why they why they added they... slutty yeah. cat chicks into fucking Disney. God. <laughs> the only thing about Disney, in early Disney when Walt Disney still ran it. Um, here's a story. Some guy had drawn um porn of Mickey and Minnie Mouse, and presented it in the break room. For a cheap laugh, Walt Disney saw it, called him up to his office, and fired the guy and everyone else who was in that break room who didn't report it. Uh, he took um, fetishization of his characters extremely seriously early on, um, but I'm not sure if that at all participated once he, you know, died. Oh, he's dead. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and, and... He cares he's dead. Yeah, and personally, I, I think they they went full bore with a lot of their overly sexualized characters, like the the, the, the bunny in the refrigerator. His head is frowning. Yeah, yeah. big time, big time. Uh, like you, you I know the statue in Disney World. He's cryogenic and frozen. Oh yeah, let, just like Family Guy said, you know, already uh, showed us what's really going on. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I think after he died and he lost control of the company, they really did sort of go overboard with the sexualization of a lot of their characters. Look at that chick Bugs Bunny uh, knockoff that was in. Uh, Lola. Yeah, is that her is name, Lola? Rabbit? 
No, not Jessica <laughs> Rabbit. <laughs> No, wait, um... Wait, no, that's Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers. Disney doesn't have... That's Warner. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Well, my bad, my bad, my bad. I guess something... Jessica Rabbit is Disney, though, so that counts. Yeah, so that does count. No, Jessica Rabbit's not Disney. The Roger Rabbit yeah, just, is... Yeah, I don't, yes, I don't it think it's Disney. No, I Roger think... Rabbit, I saw it on Disney+. Plus. Oh, well, is okay, Ro I, I'm not surprised because, like I said, Disney owns 10% of literally everything in the world, so... Yeah. Does he own 10% of my kidney? <laughs> hey, yep. Legally, Maybe. they were entitled to 10% of your kidney. Uh, Who framed well, Roger Rabbit? Luck. The only movie where Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny are in the same movie. Oh, okay. Well, I, I know that... Uh, uh... I know that uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit was a, a collaborative effort by uh, multiple studios, and Disney was one of them. But what Disney did was they said every time that there's a, a one of their characters on oh, there, they purchased the film rights to the film story in 1981. That makes sense. Well, yeah, that, and they said that they wanted a a Disney character in every scene that had uh, like a Warner Brothers character. And I don't know how I don't know how they managed to win that uh, that little uh, uh, back and forth, but hey, if you look every single time there's a Warner Brothers character, there's a Disney character. But then again, it was really great because you know you wouldn't get Donald Duck versus Daffy Duck. So I'm really I'm kind of happy that we got was that. Goofy and who framed Roger Rabbit? Yeah, at the very very end, uh, him, Mickey, all of them. I, I think uh, Porky Pig was the one that got the last uh, word in too. No wait, Porky Pig was was really Warner Brother, wasn't it? Uh, yes. it's the same as Bugs Bunny, I think. Yeah, it's Warner yeah, 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 it is. Okay, well at least they got Porky at least Pig they got their the yeah, at least they got their uh, their little last bit. But anyway, yeah. So does anyone else have any uh, like Roger Rabbit and the um, and Judge Doom? Like, who owns those characters that were exclusive to that movie? Well, Judge Doom. Well, uh, there was a lot of OC. There was a lot of OC in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Like, Jessica Rabbit and Roger Rabbit were, were not created until that movie. And uh, oh. Ju Judge Doom... Uh, 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 Judge Doom what was an OC character, too. At least as far as I can recall, anyway. Funny thing about Judge Doom, why was he trying to commit genocide against his own species? Who? Judge, Judge Doom? Judge Doom and who framed, who Evil guy. Roger Rabbit. I have, honestly, I have no idea why. I, it was just that he was a bad guy and he does bad things. That, that was pretty much like the that was pretty much the premises for uh, the premise for every single uh, villain in the old uh, uh, from like uh, from the nineties back. Like the the villain never really had a complicated backstory. He was they just a villain. Now. Well, I mean, they, they do now. It's really boring, or they got to be like an anti-hero, or they're doing it because my child's dying of super kid cancer or something, and that's what you get. Super kid cancer. Well, I don't know. That sounds fun. Can I have some? Oh, yes, you can have all of it. And joining us today is ASE Riley. Say what's up, Riley. What's up, Riley? What's up, Riley? Wrong. What's up? I'm doing good, Riley. How are you, Riley? I'm doing great. I met a Riley in real life at a bar the other day. He won Boise, uh, Boise, Idaho's f funniest person last year in like a comedy thing. So he's like another funny Riley. So I'm gonna have to bring that guy into the fold. Get him Can online. Just... Hell yeah, Can sounds good. Riley cast where it's just like, like R with a you three and above this it. Guy. Yeah, it's just everybody or... on this podcast name is Riley. Well, his name is also spelled differently than ours. It's spelled Perfect. the Irish way. R E I L L Y. Yeah. Hello, Riley. 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 And joining us today is Riley. How are you doing, Rileys? Great. How are you all? Riley Reed. I can do that. Yeah, we can get Riley Reed as a special guest on the Riley podcast. Riley cast. Yeah, the Riley cast. And then we just take all of our spellings of names and layer them over each other for the art. <laughs> yeah. Well, should, should we just like take all of our nicknames, change them to you know? Actually, for next episode of the MoCast, everyone changes their name to Riley. I, I'm Riley I'm all right, all right, I, I, all right. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. We'll all be Rileys for a day. I'll come back. Well, that's my official induction as a co-host the day Riley the day that it's the Riley episode of the MoCast. All right, all right. So, oh god. All right, all right. 
something. Let, let's go ahead and get back on track here. Riley, I'll go ahead and uh, do you have any opinion on Disney Plus? Uh, if you have subscribed to it already, do you have any? Uh, what's your first impression? Yada, yada, yada. Oh, I love to pirate things. Oh, does he have <laughs> Um, I don't. Uh, should we start with. Have you guys talked about the George Lucas edit? The new uh, one? Uh, no, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Go ahead and lay it on, oh. bro. Thank God, this is great because I know you're a big Star Wars guy. Um, I heard on about Empire that. on Disney Plus, or no? Yeah, when when Han and Greedo are shooting each other, you know how he has consistently edited it through the years. Well, on the yeah. 40 HDR version that they have on Disney Plus, it was the one he had just got done restoring before Disney bought Lucasfilms. So, uh, right before Greedo shoots, he says the word McClunky. And that's never been in the canon before. <laughs> Is that actually but what he says? Yes, he says McClunky. Does that mean something? No, there's no subtitle for it uh, on the app. So presumably they don't know about it, or it's a curse word. But Greedo just yells McClunky. It's the only thing added is a new soundbite from Greedo. That's great, though. <laughs> I love that, it. like the Greedo equivalent <laughs> to the N-word? They slipped it in? It has to be. But, like, why? <laughs> I mean, look, if what McClunky is the new gamer word, I'm all for it. It's McClunky. Look it up on the... So it's some kind of racial slur. For, Get these motherfucking um, McClunkies off of my lawn. It's, yeah, it's probably Greedo for Nerf Herder because, you know, we already know we can't Greedo say Nerf is, Herder. Greedo is in the... Uh, you mean Rodian? Like the, um, the Greedo species from Star Wars? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I'm not a deep dive guy. Nerf. Uh, they're called Rodians, those um, okay. bug people. What, what? You know, uh, like one of the most well-known Star Wars aliens, the Rodian. Yeah, I have a, actually yeah. a good segue for that. Uh, still talking about Disney Plus with the Mandalorian. Um, people are freaking out because they don't know what to call Baby Yoda. Wouldn't it be a Dagobahan? Like, isn't he from yeah. Dagobo? Yeah, that's where his species is like, from. Like, so wouldn't it be something to do with that? Not Baby Yoda. Yeah, he's not a Yoda. What, what is Yoda's species called? I'm look, looking it up. Uh, there's honestly, not a name for there's it. There's not a name for it. We yeah. haven't, they haven't had to name it yet because there's only two something of them. in some non canon or like legends type stuff. Somewhere. Yeah, but that doesn't That's count. Fair. But it's, it's gotta be Dagobah. It's right? not extended universe though. Like, it, there is no, I've gone into this discussion before. I can't find a name for whatever race Yoda is. Apparently, yeah. it's called a tridactyl. No, that's all right. Legit. No, it's. Where are you finding that? <laughs> so, <laughs> cite your source. Let me ask you cite something. your source. Wikipedia. Wikipedia. That's pretty good. Yeah, fans know more about it than the people making it, so I'm going to trust that. But What are you talking about? Well, because Disney group, hasn't right? come out to name it yet. They're just like, I don't know. There's a group. I'm on Wikipedia. It really says it's unknown. Oh, right. Only so two of them. Is it actually a fucking race, though? There's only like oh, two of them. Oh, it's a nickname. Yeah, it's unknown. So, yeah. De de can we can just decide. Mo has the authority. He can pick. And then we just have to spread it. So, oh, honestly, uh, I, I I wish that they would just stop trying to uh, uh, bring up more of these characters from the past and just make new Santa ones. Santa Claus appears to be a member of Yoda's species. Okay, this movie is weird. I think well, I, I think someone's face. Well, from what from what I can recall, uh, Yoda the whole Yoda species is supposed to be like an ano an anomaly that the force sort of spits out to, to help maintain balance and order. It's like the force itself purposefully spits out this ultra power or this very powerful, very force sensitive uh, uh, creature. And that's what it, he was supposed to be. Yeah, she, kind of yeah, she, yeah, she, for the room. Would yeah, you bang Yaddle? No, no, Hold on. pass. After Mo finishes his point, I want to scream about how Yaddle is stupid and how they're bringing mitochondrians back, obviously. Oh, God. Midichlorian, midichondrians, midichlorians. Or midichlorians, sorry. Uh, yeah. oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm trying to make sure that I'm right. But yeah, yeah mid mid like what Snoke is. The, uh, he got like what Snoke is, that first Jedi or whatever it is. Like, the, you know, well, the two halves. I read like, the script. Uh, I know what happens in Star Wars 9 if you guys want to talk about that. Well, yeah, you know, well, we I might. We might. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll okay, talk. We'll talk about stuff later, but uh, yeah. Uh, as far as I know, the uh, the the woman, the girl, uh, freaking Yoda, Yoda uh, species alien Yaddle. thing, Yaddle. Thank you. Uh, she was supposed to be in the old Republic sort of setting. She was there, I think. Like I think that was like a thousand or so years before Yoda and the the 
the Star Wars uh, universe that we know. Uh, there was she was supposed to be sort of like the precursor for everything because the Force had everything sort of they, they they knew what was going to happen and they they spit out these yoda uh of these yoda aliens to sort of try and keep the balance but as time has gone on the force itself has gotten a little weaker and uh, they 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 die a little sooner like yoda species is supposed to live hold on a sec hold on a sec wait a minute um like Yoda's species is supposed to live for like a few thousand years, but Yoda died when he was like I think nine hundred. Yeah. And so anyway, they overlap in their lifespans because Yaddle was in the prequels on the Jedi Council. Yeah, she met Qui Gon and Anakin. Yeah, they're they're overlapping, which is interesting too because, like, they. I didn't see her there. She was there. Other. As yeah. far as we know, she hasn't died. Yeah, we don't know any. Well, because. Well, the she might have died during franchise Order 66. Sucks. Like, yeah, she also could have died. died in Order 66 or but it's not hiding. specified, so she could be around. Right. She could be in hiding, but it's she, unlikely. Well, if they live as long as they do, then she could be the mother to this stupid Yoda. I'm just saying, yeah. yeah, but kind of have a canon reason to do this. I don't think they're going to go with the Force creating people, because when they did that with Anakin, we all got really mad and forgot about it. I mean, Remember, Anakin with... doesn't have a mother. He was literally created by the Force. That was not his mom. birth mom. That's not his he's, birth mom. No, he's Jesus Christ. He's Jesus. It's a parallel to Jesus. Okay, so right. so wait a minute. So Anakin doesn't have a mom? I thought she. Is that a Legends thing or in the prequel? No, that's that's straight up George Lucas in the prequels. Like Anakin he is had, made of midichlorians. The, the Force created that guy. Like, did they say that in the prequel, yeah. or did George Lucas just say it later? Ah. Uh, it's a good question. Does it matter? God doesn't really count. That's fair. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because George Lucas is in control. Like, yeah, he's he's not. You're he telling me that movie. Star Wars but, Jesus ended up being an emo kid because somebody fucked. Yeah. Amazing. Oh yeah, God. I mean, all right, I, I guess you could say that's really his mom, but like he doesn't have a dad because he's immaculate conception by the Force. So he like he is space Jesus. Oh God. But wait, wait! D Jesus never became Darth Vader, though. Well, that's I mean, true. There's, I've there's read an the Bible. Argument to be made about that, I would say. Uh, God, God takes this angry turn in the Bible where he starts hurting people all the time. That's before he becomes Je he does the Jesus thing. He starts out evil, and then okay. later goes to be all nice and hippie and stuff. That's the opposite that's of what Anakin. The opposite. Star Wars is hacks. Yeah. They can't even copy the Bible, right? Uh, one, no, thing, uh, one thing in the in old Star Wars lore, there's this species called the Celestials, which they did a they, basically like um just this your stereotypical precursors in like the in the Legends series. They actually they apparently like created the Force basically, yeah, and also like Dyson spheres and built this giant bubble around the galaxy to keep everyone inside. I think oh. Metaclorians are being brought back, you guys. Like again, I, I read the script for the new one, and like without spoilers. Um, you know, it just heavily continues that idea of how Leia was able to survive in the vacuum of space in the last movie. It's it's midichlorian Jedi shit. Jedi lineages have been a thing since the first set of movies. No, I That's get it, but they're trying to um, retcon it's inherited. it, though. I know it's inherited, but they're trying to make it... The, the point of this new movie, without spoiling anything that happens in it, is to position Leia as the Skywalker that was always the hero the whole time. But fuck off. Oh, God, Seriously? what's come fucking on, man? Look. Yeah, this it's all about Leia's lightsaber and Rey's connection to it. Without spoilers. Uh, without spoilers. Leia's <laughs> lightsaber, sorry. That's what it's about. This is going to be the lamest seat. Oh. Uh, I, uh, I, I fucking I'm hate, I fucking myself. hate I feminism. Right, uh. that's to curb his enthusiasm. I'm deafening myself. I don't want to hear any more spoilers. No, you might. <laughs> uh, just God damn it! Just I'm not. I'm not. I am so not going to watch the movie after I all this shit. Like I don't even know if I want to pirate it. Watch Star Wars in your life. Oh, uh, like some people would say that would be lucky. Yeah, me <laughs> and everyone else that's watched Star Wars. <laughs> like, well, there's good. something I guess I'm lucky. The first couple fucking movies, dude, like, he, he could have stopped there. I get it. It's the first big, like, oh, we have this giant franchise, and people keep seeing it. 
The problem is consumer power and how we're using it and how we tell people to use it, man. Um, we've got this issue where people are going to spend more money at this one than any Star Wars before it, even though it was yeah. the first one. Yeah. Because it's the last one. It's this investment in this franchise. The more that they give us, honestly, the more people will fucking spend their time or money consuming, 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 because to criticize the, the product is bad. Um, especially in the culture of those billion dollar franchises. I Consume got, product. Do you, do you suggest that I just don't go to kind of spare my last remnants of appreciation? I would say just pirate it. Just pirate it. I'm not it, paying the money. Yeah, I'm not even going to watch it because it's shit. Out of yeah, principle. Don't, yeah, don't spend money on it. I, like I said, I pirated The Mandalorian. Um, it's, it's, it was up immediately because... Disney's dumb. Also, all the other movies from their vault that you used to have to pay for the DVD of, they're all just ripped now. So you can go see those for free on WatchCartoonOnline.com. Nice, I nice. Would, <laughs> I would, but I really just don't give a fuck about Star Wars anymore after they fucked it into the ground. And I, when I was a kid, I used to think, oh, that is fucking dope. All these rules and stuff. And then yeah. with the new movies, fuck the rules because feminism, big titties, or yeah. women, she can big do anything. Big titty Leia. Yeah. Well, I well, agree with that. that was the most empowered... yes. Okay, Slay everyone, one at a time. Empowered character in all of Star Wars. Yeah. I, I love... agree with that, except for, like, just with the movies, though, because the expanded universe is really interesting, and it does yes. stick to the rules, more or less. Um, the rule of Vogue War was my favorite. Here's my hot take. The rule of two with the Sith is really dumb. Like, yeah, it um, is. It is. It's so much better when the Sith are a fucking empire and they're all killing each other all the goddamn time and just dominating. Well, if we didn't have the rule of two, we wouldn't have to deal with Sheev being the main villain in this fucking prequel. Like, what's the point? Was wasn't the whole point of the rule of two so that the Sith could exist in secret for long periods of time yes. until there actually was a chance for them to make a new empire? It was a last resort. They could. I mean, they. The whole reason they did it was because we can't be an empire anymore. I think Yeah, if you had too many powerful like if you had too many powerful like dark lords running around, like that would then the raise Jedi a lot of eyebrows. Yeah. Well, my understanding of it was they were all just killing each other too much and they weren't in a place of power where they could do that comfortably, where they were constantly training new people. That's fair. Yeah, There's but a killing lot each of other is a Sith thing. Yeah, I under and that's why it was established to just have the two. So yeah. that and it's like if you want to be up there on the top, like kill the other two, just like get up there, that's fine. But like, no more. You can't just go and be your own dark lord. Yeah, I mean, like in the old Republic Sith Empire, though, they had like tiers. Like, not all Sith uh, were Force users. Like, they could have like just basic Sith foot soldiers so, and not true. have to deal with constantly killing each other. The Sith Empire was a very functional system, well, it but. Still is, uh, isn't it? It, well, no, because it got it was collapsed by the Republic. They they lost a war, so they had to go with the rule when? of two, so that their ideology could be preserved Not in the over movies. the millennia. Sorry, I don't know so, a lot of the extended stuff. What I'm saying is, throughout the films, we have yet to see the Empire lose. But that's not the Sith Empire. Oh, okay. I know that's oh, a weird distinction. Talking about the Sith Empire from the Old oh. Republic. So like, yeah, have I played Dark the Old Republic? Or no, Star Wars: The Old really. Republic, the MMO. I've played a little bit of it, but I didn't get into it. I, it's you own it. Of, yeah, but that doesn't mean I play it. You own like a physical copy of it. You don't. I, I, yeah, I own it. I played it. I, I have to nail them to the wall. Yeah, I own it too, and I've played it. Well, oh, I shit, didn't nigga. play a lot of it. You actually have it. Why did you say that? Because <laughs> you have it. I'm totally gonna play it. <laughs> Oh it's it's God. fine. I'll just edit that. <laughs> Thanks, Mo. I'm just sorry. Star Wars, I man. I have... So is this a new Star Wars podcast? I'm just very excited because. <laughs> yeah. I, I McClunky. Oh, McClunky. Oh shit. McClunky. Like Smurf. McClunky me. I'm just... Oh god, my McClunky feels so good! <laughs> I love but, that um, McClunky dick. So yeah, no, I haven't really dove into the game, uh, and I'll have to look into it more. Um, deeper! Deeper into my McClunky! But that's something else I'm mad about, All like right, the kids, whole Palpatine storyline. 
like it still hasn't ended, which means Luke. All the the, the original movies. So there's people who are like, yeah, just enjoy the first trequel. Or I, what do I keep calling it? That a trilogy. Sorry, a trequel is a, a sequel trilogy. Third movie. Yeah. Uh, well, so okay. Um, so like, the the Lord of the Rings from the, from the yeah, Hobbit? but from the beginning of Star Wars to now, the same guy has been the bad guy, which means none of our characters have ever been successful, and now Ray will be. That's fucking well, annoying. Well, like Hal had, didn't um, do it. Like yeah. If you go by the theory that Snoke is Plagueis, Plague- you the line is Snoke, Palpatine, Vader, and then Kylo Ren. So basically, well, just each the same, prequel is for taken out one. We're arguing. So far, so far, each of the trilogies have taken out one of said um, villains. So they kind of succeeded, but, but not but- really point well, is that throughout all of the trilogies the same big bad guy yeah no matter how many bad sith they defeat darth maul darth vader whatever kylo ren it's still sheev palpatine yeah. the old dude but needs Palpatine's to fucking dead. die we're tired yeah, no, of old not. white men it's not it is palpatine he's in the trailer he's the villain of the movies you know what really Wait, pi- what snoke worked for him yes palpatine Wait, no no spoilers. no spoilers no more spoilers, no spoilers. I'm done. in no, the trailer no. it's in the trailer <laughs> Uh, no you know, like what really pisses me off about the whole thing is, like, there was a, no point. There was absolutely no point in, in Snoke ever existing. Uh, you know, you might, you like, dude, thing. dude, yeah, and it fucking sucks because I'm super, super into his character. He's he's ominous. He feels you can feel the evil from him emanating from him. Yeah, you're you're waiting for him to start making his play, and he was starting to be a little bit more successful than freaking Palpatine. But now that we basically or uh, allegedly have Palpatine back, uh, that that pretty There's much no makes... allegedly it's in the trailer. Oh well, I don't fucking know. I you know like this this. Uh, fuck it. Uh, like, we're not even supposed to be talking about Star Wars. We're supposed to be talking about streaming service. But we start talking about Star Wars because we're talking about Disney. So, it's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Street. Consume product. Consume product. I mean, it makes sense. Like, the tried and true, like, way to, like, produce villains in a story is, like, you have this villain and this villain and this villain. And they're all tied together because there's a big dude on top who is the, the villain. Like, the, the big bad villain. Like, I, yeah, that's that's how stories go. I know, I know. I just, I, I, if if they're about to do what I think they're about to do, it just really just shits on the whole freaking the whole thing. And personally, I, I, I don't like the fact that even though I can suspend my, uh, my, my disbelief for a few minutes and think, well, maybe he used the dark side of the force to shield him from the 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 being dropped into the reactor, but at the same time, you know. Uh, a stronger, more powerful Sith Lords Maybe have been killed. Hold on a sec. Shit. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, uh, like more powerful Sith Lords have been uh, uh, killed by much less, and so that's that's hard for me to really believe and, and not have me roll my eyes like crazy. Anyway, Riley Brooks, what are you about to say, buddy? I just said maybe he used the uh, corporate bullshit force. Uh, and unfortunately, that seems to be the ever-present factor in the last few Star Wars movies. But yeah, oh, all right. Yeah. Who's the Force? The Force of money. Yeah, it's it's there's this nebulous power called the Force, and that's fine. But like, you can't suspend your disbelief for anything else. Is that it safe? Enough. Is it safe? Well, like I wait, like, wait, wait, drop the spoilers quick. No. <laughs> no, there's okay. no spoilers. Okay. He's already gone. Thanos dies in Endgame. Wait, wrong, wrong spoilers. Uh, but still Han Disney, Solo but still Disney money. owned, but still Disney owned. Strangely enough, so not quite off topic. But anyway, so enough about Disney Plus and Star Wars, because God knows just we can probably talk. Just a closing remark, please, on uh, Star Wars and Disney. It used to be good until Disney took it over. Now it's shit, and I don't want to. Well, all right, I'll, I'll, we, we, I suppose we can debate that point, but, you know, like, it, whether, when it turned to shit, but I still liked episode three Next a whole lot. on the mocast, Star Wars. Be- Star bad, Wars. Just fucking political. Is it an political. unpopular opinion that I think Attack of the Clones is one of the best Star Wars movies? I've never I, even I, seen I, Star Wars. 
I, I've watched it like eight or nine times, and honestly, I, it's it's not the worst one. There's I don't think there's a well up until seven, eight, and nine came out. Uh, there hasn't yeah. been really a bad Star Wars movie. There's just been really weak ones. Like I thought Episode Two, Attack of the Clones, was the weakest, strong lore wise, but everything else, plus acting, plus everything else, was I thought crap. Yeah, I love the are characters. Are we joking? Though. Everyone shat on the prequels until the like, you know, the the new ones came out. Like, oh, me, was just bad absolutely. It could be. <laughs> well, like personally, like, oh, the prequels are such garbage. Don't even watch the prequels. Like, ugh, just just watch. You know, by comparison the to the new boom movies, the prequels should are like the greatest films of all time. You well, watch it, it's really watch. like it, it's like you got the fans saying the prequels are shit, and then all of a sudden Disney's just like, oh, we can make it a whole lot worse. Yeah, oh, true, true, true. That hurts so much when you said it. <laughs> oh, we could always make it worse. Yeah, but anyway, uh, yeah. all right. So, uh, enough about Star Wars. <laughs> enough about Disney Plus, because we've been ranting. I think about forty-five minutes on Disney, uh, which is sort of what I thought was going to happen. But you know, whatever, whatever. Most of uh, it was Star Wars, though. Most of it was Star Wars, but anyway. So I guess I'll have to put that in the title. Um, so I'm a huge, huge fan of Hulu because I think it has many more options for TV and stuff like that than Netflix does. And while I love a lot of, while I like really a lot of Netflix original series stuff like uh, BoJack Horseman, uh, I, I don't think it's as strong as Hulu is. I just think Netflix is more popular than than Hulu, but. Uh, that isn't to say that Netflix has uh, some room to like spread its wings, so to speak. Personally, the reason why I like Netflix, uh, Hulu over Netflix is because uh, Netflix doesn't really just kick off whole series and whole uh, uh, shows out of the damn blue. Usually when everything shows up on Hulu, it tends to stay on Hulu. Like uh, a lot of Conan O'Brien, all of South Park, uh, uh, Letterkenny, stuff like that. Uh, Robin or uh, R Riley? You know, Robin. We started with you the last time. Riley uh, Brooks. Uh, wh which streamer service hey. streaming service do you like? That is it Disney related. Ah uh, shit. Well, if Disney Plus doesn't count, because I feel like Disney Plus has already overtaken it, I'd probably agree with Hulu. Even though the one thing the Hulu that Netflix has over Hulu for me, and it's a decently big thing. Is that Netflix has all of Power Rangers, and that is really good because that's a lot of, that's fucking twenty years of TV for me to binge watch. That what about love, Amazon? Love. Yeah, it is. What about Amazon? Amazon's okay. I just I get bored watching uh, Amazon stuff. Like I, I'm I'm watching that uh, what if the Nazis in Japan won World War Two uh, show? The Man in the High Castle. Man in the High Castle. I'm I'm really fucking. All of the and characters make ridiculous it. moral dilemmas out of everything, and the main character's only response to any situation is to stare into space with her mouth slightly agape. Oh, yeah. Let me repeat that because I was slightly muted. Um, I'm waiting for Man in the High Castle to get a little bit better because so far I think I've watched like six or seven episodes. And it doesn't. It gets worse. I've seen the whole first does. season and most of the second. It gets worse. It, it doesn't get any worse. better? Oh, shit. No. Well, what about Mr. Robot? Gets... That's good. That is a great show. I've watched the whole first season and I really enjoyed it a lot. I can't... Uh, who plays his dad? Christian Slater? Is that his name? Uh... I don't know. If it's Christian Slater, it's Christian Slater, but he does a great job, and then Rami Malek is a really interesting hacker, and it's just a weird show, but I really enjoyed it. It's a fun mindfuck. Kind of like Black Mirror. Oh, Alright, see, I, I, I've i watched a few episodes of Black Mirror. I like Black Mirror uh, a lot. Sorry, let me elaborate on the kind of like Black Mirror thing. In the way that it's a dark future technology thing, not in the way that it's an anth um that all the episodes are unrelated. It's a cohesive story, more or less. There's just a lot of fuckery. <laughs> I'm bad at explaining things. No, I, I get you, bro. I get you. Yeah, I, I really like uh, uh, Black Mirror a whole lot. I just, uh, 
I, I've, I've been fucking around a lot and I'm playing Counter-Strike constantly or World of Warcraft or some like fucking game <laughs> and I never get around to watching all of my shows and e even though I have even though I have these streaming like these multiple streaming service options it's like I, I never have time to watch stuff you know it's like I'm so it feel I feel so overwhelmed it's sort of like, well, where do I start? And then I'm, I'm waiting. I'm spending most of my time trying to figure out, well, which platform do I want to even log on to? And what show do I want to watch? I'll honestly say uh, Black Mirror, BoJack Horseman, and uh, uh, Letterkenny, that's also exclusive to Hulu, uh, have been the only ones that have been able, uh, ever able to sort of break that funk. And I, I've been able to... Uh, uh, I, get sort of like a what was I going to say I, I guess I, I, I get my wood my proverbial uh, mental uh, wood from watching a, a lot more Hulu than I have any of the other streaming services but uh, uh yeah go ahead Psych Psych I have never gotten into Psych uh, it's on Amazon Prime which is a real good selling point for having Amazon Prime just alone because for a long time it was unavailable and now you can watch all of Psych and I, I personally think it's one of the best shows ever. Um, one thing fun. that most other streaming services don't have, if you get Amazon Prime, you can also get expedited shipping. I mean, like, on Net, does Netflix let you buy things faster? No, it doesn't. It doesn't let you buy and things, does it? And you can use your Twitch Prime subscription. That's true as well. Subscribe to your favorite streamer yeah. every month. So an Amazon Prime subscription. Like Mo. Go to twitch.tv slash Mo Diggity. Yo, That's yes, yes. You make the Twitch other Riley mad at me oh, and subscribe yeah, to baby. Monkey Jones every month. Oh yeah, let's go sub to Monkey. Sub to Monkey Jones. No, okay, we're 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 squashing that right now because like the last because we, I think we spent the like the last three fucking pocket. Monkey is all it comes up constantly in this fucking why? show. Why do I I don't know why. I don't know why it just happens like that. It, it just even still. Alive. I don't even talk about that. Monkey is like the only guy. person I watch. Okay, he's like why? the only one. <laughs> yeah, Riley's a huge what? fan of Monkey. Like, yeah, but why are your standards so low? Is it Disney's fault? <laughs> <laughs> There's hours of Revenge of the Sith, The Dick Show, The Ralph Retort, Dame Pesos YouTube channel, everything Hazen Cruz has ever made. And that's just... Uh-oh! The like, there's so much, like, good content compared to Monkey Jones. And look, I know that Hazen Cruz isn't everybody's favorite person. I know you don't like him, Tommy. I don't... I don't care. I don't like him because he's a faggot. Okay, no, 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 no drama. Let's just go ahead. Hey, guys, guys, guys. I'm squashing this right. We're squashing that right now. Like, we're not going to. This isn't. I know, I know. This isn't a drama podcast. It was funny for a minute, but I I think we're about to start getting off on like a. podcast that shuts down engagement? Honest engagement between people? I know, I know, I know. I just don't want to. fascism, Mo. I just don't want to become that podcast where we just shit talk everyone in the community. The Mo, how much Isn't is that what we've been doing menu? this whole time? None. Nothing. <laughs> I just, I'm just curious why Monkey, like his content's not that good. It's, it's not that well produced. Uh, as far as the school shooter movie, that was a good joke, but it's not even Can shot well. It? Like it's not. Who records their sex tape on a phone, you know? Who Look, records their he's sex? He's funny, tapes. okay. I discovered it like last year, and it was funny. And he's funny. And insufferable social media argument is the best podcast of all time. I, I legit thought Mumpkey was dead until you guys just started talking about it, yeah. especially yeah. after that loose stuff. Well, I yeah. didn't know about. I, I have. He's been off my radar until Bird mentioned yesterday that he spent his new, uh, the first two minutes of his new clickbait video talking Four about minutes. me. Without mentioning you by name. Without mentioning you by name, but pretending he doesn't know who I am, even though we've met a couple times in person. Like, I've known who he is forever through mutual friend. Wait, was uh, he talking about you? I watched yeah, that video. Yeah, that's me. I'm the... Well, okay, Lou sent me the revenge porn, if we're being honest. And I just shared it with my friends, Dick Masterson and some others, at a Road Rage event. Um, it and, was beautiful. And then Noel put it on you Kiwi Farms. You the monkey stick. It was you... Why do you think Asterios wanted me to... Why do you think Asterios is okay with that monkey joke I was doing where I... Oh, dear God. <laughs> well, okay with it at monkey the time. Monkey definitely knows who I am. Oh, yeah, Asterios doesn't like me now because I don't like him. I don't know. He decided I was 
not funny after the fact, which is a weird, like, thing liberals can do. <laughs> That's why I have Kimball's flag behind us. I've got Maxwell Kimball's Jewish flag, because Asterios fired him for ironically being Jewish. I'm, fired him from waifu wars. I'm actually Jewish, so it's okay to have a flag. It was a gift <laughs> to me, personally. Yeah. But no, yeah, I, I was involved in that, Riley. Uh, your hero's an idiot. You know what he didn't talk about? I know he keeps talking about the sex tape for clicks, but he hasn't talked about the Patreon scamming yet. All the money, the thousands of dollars he has stolen from his fans by being a depressed loser who doesn't fulfill Patreon tiers. He didn't mention that. All he cares about that, he dated and defended a pedophile. That is enough reason for you to dislike the- Yeah, there's Wait, millions he dated of a pedophile? Yes, yes, yes. Lou. Ashley, Every day at school, Ashley I get my lunch, I sit down, I eat my lunch, and I watch the Monkey and Big Show, okay? That's why you don't have friends to sit with at lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> is the pedophile hot, though. Sorry, no. Riley, I like you. I just don't like you, I don't like Didn't I don't you like see? I don't know how you like him. Didn't it. you fucking see what looked look uh, what Lou looked like? She looked like a an arrested I saw this, like grainy video of her. Look, I admit that Monkey does not have the best choice in uh, mistresses, but her nose looks like a fucking Tim boot when he's when she's sucking his dick. I call him a he. Oh my god, no! <laughs> <laughs> she looks like a this dude. is the best. I'm glad we've done this to your show, Mike. <laughs> oh, no, 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 for real though, why would you for every- you have a great fucking girlfriend at home, why would you go for a fucking anorexic pedophile that, yeah, that fucking amazing. draws cup for Yeah, going from sheep over to Lou is like, oh, that's Dude, a big when, downgrade. When we were in New York, uh, Bird and I ate dinner with Monkey and Justin Wang and a couple others, right, Sierra was off getting drunk, and then <laughs> I went and hung out with sheep over and Monkey. And, like, she's such a funny part. Like, she's funnier than he is. Uh, Stereos' friends have that uh, sort of same thing he's got going on, where the women in their lives are funnier than them. That's why I stay single when I was friends with Stereos, you know? I wouldn't want to... Who's better? Who's thing. better? Yeah. Who's the better girl? Sheep or Sriracha? Uh, Sheep. Ah, no contest. Sriracha. Yeah. I, Sriracha's awesome. Like, I like her. She's cool. She's very funny. But, uh... No, like, Sheep Over is a very normal, and she's funny. Like, it's one thing to think she's hot online, but I've I met her, and I know she's cool. Like, she is a cool person. So it's even weirder that he does that stuff. That he did did that stuff to her. Like, it cheating just on her in her sense. house, breaking up with her. Like, he did, like all of that or whatever. This it's is, like, ancient weird. drama. Like, she is so ideal mom. I was gonna yeah. say, this is the yeah. oldest drama of all he, time. He did, I, he I did was, cheat on I his nine with a three, him. and that was not a good decision. Oh, yeah, no, this is a weird time machine in the past. I didn't expect the, the worst part was when I fucking... I was sat in, sitting in a voice chat with Lou when she told me that she uh, was cheating on Monkey. Well, I knew she was cheating on... Uh, not Monkey. Uh, Monkey was cheating on uh, Sheep or... Or, no, I knew that Monk, uh, she was dating somebody, already had a girlfriend, and he was a complete loser, and Mook is like, it looks, it sounds so familiar to this person, like, who's a loser that mooches off of their girlfriend? And then she told me with that uh, loser, Tomas, who it was, and I just fucking flipped the switch, like, you fucking what? You're, you're making Monkey cheat on Sheep? He's cheating on Sheep with you? And I just fucking lost it, I couldn't believe it, like, you... You're fucking with, and this was before anybody knew this. So like, I can't believe what I'm hearing. I can't believe I'm done, and I just fucking left. I couldn't, I couldn't talk to these people anymore. It's like you, you people are all fucking backwards. This is disgusting. I'm leaving. That, that was like fucking shocking yeah, to me. Like yeah. you, it like imagine this. You have a you have a beautiful apartment, right? You have this nice apartment, not in the city. It's nice, and you decide, fuck this. I'm gonna move out and live in a fucking shack under a bridge because I'm. Hey, in he owns it. What a fucking idiot. Zero. No. After this, zero. Zero. absolutely no. nothing. Zero. zero percent. You don't have money. Impossible. Uh, and you're not famous. Zero. Yo, uh, didn't he say like? Didn't he say that you have to like give him two hundred dollars to get him zero, 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 one percent. What the fuck? Chill, chill. Chad, it's all that candy after Halloween. The parents are letting the kids still get a hold of it. Um, no, it. So, Monkey's three hundred dollar to be on a podcast joke started in New York at one of the live shows. Because we were there. Yeah. Um, some kids asked him to be on a show, and he's like, he like looked at him and he looked over at us. 
uh, I think it was me and Asterio, Sriracha, Bird, Wang were there already. I don't know. It was before the show had started, and some kids walked up to Monkey. Uh, I was the door guy. So they were talking to him, and he's like, yeah, for 300 bucks. And then they said, we'll do that. And he said, oh. Wasn't well, that, then, okay. Um, and was this something else? Didn't Mr. I, Meat Man pay him money to come on his podcast, like, way back when, before that drama happened with Meat Man? Meat like, Man! Mr. Meat Man! It was Meat back when was good, dude. It was like the old days. Quote, Meat Man was so. cool. Or Meat Man still is cool. Isn't Fuck, I used to be on voice chat with Meat Man. What the fuck? What happened? To I, I'm not gonna get into how I feel about hmm? Mr. Meat Man. He's so, I think he's awesome. So, man, I, I sure do want to talk right? about. I, I sure do. Yeah, live streaming. So, he's a live streamer. This is relevant. I mean, oh, God. Like, actually, you can. TV slash Monkey Jones. Oh, I, shit. I guess you guys got me on that one, huh? Uh, sh <laughs> hoisted by my own petard. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So, I, I guess. At 1 p.m. EST is, oh, is it God. Kino? God. It's not. <laughs> And oh. by using your Amazon Prime with a Twitch Prime <laughs> subscription. Look, Ben the last thing, might be on Is It Kino this week. The last thing I'll say is he's lucky I don't care at all about the monkey thing. Because so many, enough of his fans have asked me to do videos reviewing anime. Like, did I know I could just take his fucking thing from him? What's he going to do? He doesn't own Monkey Jones. Uh, I know because I've done a copy. You should, no, you should do a, no, you should start doing survival guides because he won't do survival guides anymore. Yeah. And then you steal it from him before he can. Well, I'd be better than him at anything that he's doing, so I could. It's just not... That's why he won't mention me. It's why he's never mentioned me. By name. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he sneak disses a lot. <laughs> Guess he kind of mentions... All you need is an Alexa and a sex doll, and you can make a monkey survival guy. I guess I he... I have friends! I, I, don't need, I don't need props. I have friends. I guess he kind of mentions you. I, hold, I, hold on. I guess he yeah. kind of mentions you, the way that Ben Shapiro mentions mentions Nick, Nick Fuentes. Fuentes. <laughs> I am monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I don't. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. You're gonna get me in trouble. Go. Oh my god, no, you're gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. I love they cookies. I love all cookies. Yum 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 in my tum tum tum. It's, so it's not about like whether you love them or not. Sugar cookies yesterday. Okay, okay. I, I... Whether you love them or not, it's about how many of them you love. Okay. <laughs> no 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 no. Okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and wrap this up because we've been going about an hour now. Um. <clears throat> uh, uh, Talked about live streaming at all, Mo. Yeah, you guys, you guys, what? Wait, you guys blew your wad on Monkey Jones's live stream because you got me on my fucking, you got me on my own rules and parameters. I said. Speaking of blowing your wad, you're forgetting the best streaming service, Pornhub. Pornhub? Uh, didn't didn't PayPal just pull yep. out of Pornhub today? Yep. This uh, no yeah, nut. The, man, everyone's going fucking ball uh, batshit over the no nut of November and anti porn <laughs> thing, aren't Elon they? Musk if Elon Musk Hi, we're PayPal. Know. We don't like money. Bye, Pornhub. Like, for a libertarian, Jeff Bezos really sucks at it, man. I just gotta say. Because he won't do business with a lot of people he thinks is controversial. Doesn't He doesn't touch fucking Bitcoin. He doesn't like porno now. I mean, it's just, it's so fucking doesn't crazy. Doesn't Elon Musk own PayPal, not Jeff no, Bezos? He's... No, Jeff no, Bezos he's... owns PayPal. Yeah. yeah. Elon Musk made PayPal. He sold it. Uh, Bezos owns it. But also, we can't criticize Bezos for his business, like, ability. He's the richest man in the world. But if Bezos but know, owns just... PayPal, why can't you use it on Amazon? Yeah, that blows my because fucking mind. I hate doing that. Right? PayPal owns, I'm pretty sure PayPal, PayPal is affiliated with eBay. Oh, it fun. is. <laughs> that's funny. You can use PayPal on Amazon. No, you can't. No, I tried. You, you, you can't. You gotta buy their gift cards and load them yeah, up. Yeah, you that could way. get a PayPal debit card and use it on. Use it on yeah, that's what I have to do. Anyway, all right, all right, all right. I think uh, we we've been at this for about an hour. We got a ton of good content, so I'm gonna go uh, top to bottom. Riley Bird, do you have anything that you would like to to say to end on a good note? Huh? Uh, what, My what... favorite live streamer is Sweet Anita on Twitch. She's a British woman with Tourette's, and she's she super hot. Says, she is that, but she also says things like "fuck the queen and the cunt" quite often, and mm -hmm. it's really funny. You don't think? Do you think she's faking it? 
No, I don't think she's faking her Tourette syndrome. All right, all right, all right. because like, hey, you know, like people will fake. You remember that guy who uh, faked being paralyzed, and uh, he had a he got caught on a hot freaking cam and uh, forgot to turn the shit off, and the next thing you know, he just got up to go get himself some chocolate milk or some shit, yeah, some ten sure. some tendies from his mommy, and so yeah, he got fucking yeah, man. Ever ever since. <laughs> Ever since what the fuck? Ever since like ever since then, man. Like I I doubt everything. But the one thing I, I will the one thing I will say is real is the violence, the speed, and momentum from Doctor Disrespect. See, I haven't watched much of Doctor Disrespect. Oh I man, know he's great at everything he does. Oh yeah, two time. Yeah, the two time champion. Oh yeah, I'm full on nuts for him. All right, right, uh, 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 right, uh, ASE Riley to be more specific. Uh, Busy genius. Visual genius. Visual genius. That is a very soothing voice. So, what, what, what's your what, what's your uh, uh, last comment before we go? Uh, well, I was gonna talk about watching Donut Operator streams because he's my favorite streamer. But then we didn't talk. No, no, about no. That. You, you got you got a minute. You got a minute. You just go oh, ahead and just uh, uh, say what you want. Donut Operator has taken my young and impressionable anti-police rhetoric-based lifestyle and slowly warped me into someone who respects the idea of law enforcement, even if not what laws they're enforcing. I think Congress is a whole nother problem. But uh, I, Donut Operator is a retired police officer. He does shooting breakdown videos, and he talks a lot about sort of that, uh, the left and sometimes right wing knee jerk reaction to shootings where people without knowing the facts are like, oh, why didn't you tase his socks? <laughs> it's like, well, he was trying to kill this cop with a brick. <laughs> so, tase your socks? Like probably not. Sometimes guns work. I'm going to tase yeah. you in the socks, boy. He probably just <laughs> shoot him in the kneecaps, elbow. though. Well, it doesn't. Uh, he it might has kill a great them anyway. Yeah, he has a great video on that. If you go to the Donut Operator YouTube channel, uh, just look up Donut Operator. You'll get him. And, that uh, that and the ammunition that cops you. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Well, that's that's also uh, the ammunition thing is there too. Um, yes. Two of his must-watch videos in his must-watch playlist. One of them handles uh, a cop who has to use something like, like hundreds of rounds of ammunition. Two hundred and fifty. To or like, like stop that. one dude, and it's an explanation for why cops have to carry so much artisanal around, like arsenal around. People are like they're militarized. It's like no, they just need it sometimes. Yeah. Um. And then there's one where this dude is shot like eight times by these two women that he's trying to rob. I think ten times. They get him ten times. Oh, you're right. And he is still trying to kill them. Yeah. Like, is he on, like, PCP or something? Times. We don't, we don't know. know. There's some drugs where that you take well, and you just don't feel anything. But it's not about the drugs. Alone. It's not about the drugs. But there's the a point. soldier that's also in this playlist, a video about him. There's this dude who took uh, something like 18 shots and still saved his, his team in the military and still got back mm -hmm. alive. And he took, like, 18 bullets. Yeah. Like, like, if you don't hit vitals, you can survive yeah, you a lot can of shots. Yeah, you gunshots. So, and the shock won't hit till like 15 minutes later. I saw a guy from, um, I don't know, there's riots going on in some South American country right now. And some guy got blew up by dynamite. So he was trying to throw at someone South else. Man. Bolivia, that was the one. <laughs> um, some guy blew himself up with dynamite he was trying to hold and he had yeah. no arms. And he was just like walking around. Yeah, and was. then he just like sat what? down and was like, oh man. Shit doesn't always kill And then he was like, oh, I don't have hands. You guys look up Ross Capicchione. Either the Wait, did he not notice it first? No, like you don't notice at first. Um, there's this. That you're missing your arms. Well, you notice, yeah. but you don't process it. You don't process. It's phantom pains. So you you think your hands are still there. I like, can't feel my legs, Lieutenant Diane. Um, yeah. Shock is a motherfucker. So, there's this kid, Ross Capicione, and Joyner Lucas, a rapper, made a song about it that surmises the whole thing as it happened. But there's also him talking about it. It's like a nine minute clip, and it's worth looking at. Ross Capicione was let out by a, a buddy, someone he thought was a buddy of his in high school, led out to Nine Mile and shot three times with a shotgun, once in the head. And he got up and walked far enough for somebody to help him. And he's living now. He has like a skateboard brand. But he got oh, shot yeah, three yeah, times. I remember that guy. And his reaction to getting the back of his head blown off by a shotgun was like, well, if I fall asleep now, I won't wake up. So he just like stood up and just started walking forward. Because and... otherwise, that's it, man. Did he make it? I just it? like to say, yeah, yeah he oh, looks great fine. for someone who was shot three times with a shotgun. Yeah, he, looks <laughs> he looks amazing, honestly. Like, you can't even tell without him telling you. Oh, well, there's some of his hair that you can kind of see. Mm. But, 
I mean, and is it like that picture of the guy who's just missing the entire front of his? No, no, no. Like this is a handsome kid. Like, yeah, no. I... He healed exceptionally well. There's scars under his hair. And I guess it happened to him young enough that yeah, like during puberty or something. I'm sure there's a science He's to it. I don't kid. care. Yeah. Like, I mean, but there's a lot of variables that go into shit like that, man. Like, y- just as much as you can nick an artery in a leg with one accidental non-lethal shot and kill somebody, you can put 20 bullets into a dude and he can still kill you. Or a like, How inaccurate do you like, have to be for that to happen? Bullets ricochets everywhere. It's, it, yeah, it's, it's not about ricochet. inaccuracy, it's there's just wind speed, happens. there's different rounds fly at different speeds through the air, and then you have to... Think of the wind speed on that, right? You get a hundred yards away from somebody, mm-hmm. and the wind speed's different than at fifty. You have to adjust for that. Caliber and everything doesn't matter because they do know that there's in the FBI they made uh, these special rounds for women in the FBI because they can't handle the nine millimeter yep. in other rounds. That's why the thirty-eight was created, I think. Yeah. I think that's the history. So that you reason. could more uh, you so the thirty-eight was made so that you can more humanely shoot women. No, 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 no. no. So women could carry the gun. Like, because oh, some women in the, the FBI were having trouble carrying the nine millimeters, and so the FBI was like, "Well, how do we fix this?" The weight of the bullets. I don't believe oh. that shit at all. That women can't handle that guns. I took well, one of my friends. Well, was that recoil? I think. I well, took a yeah, friend yeah. to a shooting range, and she handled a forty-four Magnum and a three-five-seven magnificently. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean like, my, like, my, mom my mom is this tiny. My mom is this tiny, feeble old lady. And she can shoot a twelve, and she can shoot a twelve gauge from the hip. Just I'm not can, saying that it's yeah, applicable yeah, we're, to every single how woman. Work. Like, yeah, and we're, we're not saying it's true. We're just saying I'm like, saying this is why the this is why it happened back yeah. in the seventies by the FBI. Oh, yeah. the 70s? yeah. It's not because talk. women couldn't. It's not because women couldn't handle it. It was because they thought women couldn't handle it, or yeah, you know, man, bullets, one bullets, person complained and it was a woman, and like hmm. they were like, oh, damn it. Kathy. I mean, we have Lady, lady uh, Doritos, right? Do we, we really? What? Women safe Doritos. Was that a prank or did that actually come out? Oh yeah, the pink that was Doritos. Just a prank. Okay. No, that was a uh, thing, okay. wasn't it? I'm pretty sure that was a thing. I think, I think was that a, was a 4chan. I think that was a 4chan prank. I hope. I hope it was a 4chan prank. Bird will oh. fact check it for us. Oh yeah. No, it was real. They, oh, yeah, that was, yeah, that was, was real for sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was a 4chan prank because I remember that shit, and I remember there was a lot of shit coming out of 4chan that was just straight up bullshit, and it was just the funniest goddamn thing ever, and I was really enjoying it. Like, like, do you mean like the charge your iPhone by microwaving it type stuff? Yep. Oh, that was yep. the best, man. I participated in that too. It made me feel good. Or the bending your phone, or the uh, bending <laughs> your phone. <laughs> you yeah, microwaved I, your phone. Yeah, internet yes, historian. Like yeah, internet historian. Just in case you uh, were I, never. I know the meme. I was just wondering what you meant by you participated in it. Well, no, no, no. I mean. The phone or tell people to. Well, no, I'm going to like uh, I told people to do. I, I I was helping the fucking prank, you know, gather legs. You know, of course, I'm like one in a million and non, so I would never actually yeah. deliberately take credit for anything like that. I'm just proud that I participated in it. It makes me feel Honestly, good. If I, uh, anyone know about the monkey the torture Amanda cult? Thing. If huh? you said that you actually microwaved anyone your know fucking about phone, the I would have flown over cult. and broken your legs. First, <laughs> I have yet to meet an idiot that actually microwaved their fucking phone. Old if th- I want to meet them to just pick their brain apart to see what sort of fucking homunculus idiot troglodyte needs to exist to think, ah yes, microwaving my phone will help it. Because well, if you drop it in the water, it'll dry it off. Oh That's yeah, yeah. Idea. Yeah, but uh, uh, a a lot of a lot of those people were targeted. They lived in the suburbs and the most affluent parts of the city. So you, they'll never admit to their shame. Not to people like us. Uh, but anyway, anyway, uh, Ether, what, what's your what's your final comment? My final comment is that all over YouTube, there are small communities of individuals who will upload videos with titles written in broken English that basically are just hour-long compilations of monkeys and baby monkeys being, and I mean, I mean like actual um, small apes in South America being tortured, brutally murdered, torn apart, run over, and uh, etc. and uh, co- make Donald sadistic Brazilian. and horrifying comments. So yeah, that exists. Also, Epstein didn't kill himself. He didn't. Okay, well yeah, now now know. I'm Jeffrey now I'm sad. Epstein didn't kill himself? No, Riley. No, Riley. Epstein did not kill himself. 
Well, he killed himself via homicidal strangulation, which is really tough. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Suicide by homicidal strangulation. He That's had assisted cool. suicide by pillow. Yeah, like what happened was... He, he watched a lot of Naruto and he learned the Shadow Clone Jutsu. Well, what happened was... That's how he killed himself. Well, what happened was Hillary was called up the suicide hotline and said she wanted to place an order. So that's what happened. Yes. <laughs> so, so, back to the monkey torture cult. Uh, yeah, no, 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 why do I well, get uh, that's not that's not the worst thing I do. There's a be there was a bestiality subreddit a while back. Dude, there's oh plenty of them. Here. There are it's because white girls fuck dogs. Yeah, white girls. White fuck girls dogs. fuck dogs. Yeah. Yeah, we white girls world. fuck. Dogs. Because those tongues feel so good. God, this is the most disgusting. All right, all right, Kim, what's your final comment? What's your final comment? My God. Really, all I had to say this entire time was like they just cut a small scene out of Toy Story too, but we you know past the Disney Plus stuff. No, 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 that's that's fine. It's fine. It's your final comment. You can talk yeah. about whatever you Wait. want. Uh, no, there was a cut? there was a blooper scene that was really similar to Casting Couch, and they kind of cut it apparently because of Me Too stuff. That's gay. That's funny. Name? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, Riley Brooks. What's your final that, comment? That thing, thing last night. In the the thing last night in Cripplecast, or should we just forget that? Is that not important? Well, no, I, I have no idea. I haven't listened to last night's Cripplecast yet. No, I mean, I mean like the lol cow guy, you know, remember that? Oh, the dead? The da dead? Is that oh. what we're talking about? Oh, God. No, I was talking that Nisa guy. No, I have no idea who you're talking about, bro. Oh, never mind then. Uh, Y'all check out the Cripplecast, by the way, uh, at Cripple Jesus. Uh, on Twitter, man, he's fucking awesome. His shows are really awesome. Cripplecast. At Cripplecast too. Thank you, Robin. Yeah. All right, uh, Riley, what, what's your what's your final comment? Watch watch small streamers on Twitch. It's good. Yeah, like I met a lot of my friends on the internet. I was about to say, literally, the only streamer I watch with more than a thousand followers is indeed Monkey Jones. I, I support I support the small streamers, and you should too. Speaking of which, check out twitch.tv slash OJJJUJ. Oh, shit. Yeah, OJJ stuff is really cool. All right, Robin, what's your final take or your final comments? Oh, God, there's <laughs> there was so much going on here. Well, just just pick uh, pick the spiciest one, and you can just go with that. Run as long as you need. It's your final comment, basically. <laughs> Do we still have those weird, like, I mean, I mean, there's the like pedophile rings and shit on YouTube. That's like the finders. So, the weird like rabbit holes. Like you click on one video and then you just down it. That's that's. That's kind of what I was talking about with like the monkey guys. But uh, yeah, yeah, there's like the finders in, cult nuts sort of thing. Yeah, it exists in a bunch of different forms, like including the like I guess the baby monkeys or baby apes. Yeah. Yeah, where like people just upload weird shit to YouTube and then like. And then people, I mean, they're like, a, it, and then the community will form around it. Yeah. Oh God. I like you'll have a bunch of people saying, "Oh yeah, God, it's monk uh, unky having its head ripped off." Oh God, my boner, it's so big. What That's the something fuck? like that? Um, yeah. I actually did on. delve into seeing that shit on YouTube to see what fucking people watch this shit. There's a little girl doing like makeup tutorials, and I just out of curiosity decided, I don't know why this is in my feed. Let's just see who watches this stuff. More than half of her fucking viewership is fifty year olds, forty year olds. And they're just commenting anyway. timestamps. Yep. Yep. Uh, and I'm just thinking, well, I've lost all hu all fucking faith in humanity this day. Not not all of it. Not, dude, not as far it. as pedo shit goes, as long as Onision's on the platform, YouTube doesn't really care. Because there Onision? are millions of people talking about him doing that right now. And, and nobody cares. And he absolutely is and has been. Yes, and it's four people have come forward to talk to Chris Hansen in the last two weeks. Uh... Like, He's the first lol cow Repsian's I Repsian's been for fighting this sake. guy for like four ten years, years, seven years. Yeah, ten years. Trying to get him off. Of He's YouTube. how I know about him. <laughs> because Onision has, has tried to get man. Chris Hansen off of YouTube. Yes. Did he really? That's yeah. hilarious. Do you, do you well, think... He threatened to sue the shoe. Do, type of the shoe. Uh, do you think Onision will ever go down? Uh, I mean, I yeah, I so. 
There I think he's kind of built up the reputation as the bad guy of YouTube, and we'll keep it that way. What the fuck is Onision? This, this cool term, like villain or bad guy, is like a. It shouldn't be some symbol of status for him that lets him be on YouTube. Alex Jones. He just, is the bad he just guy tries to be a horrible person, and people love him for it. But yeah, he but like, doesn't. Fucking, like having sex with your two-year-old baby and having sex with an eighteen-year-old on her birthday, with, while your two-year-old baby's in the bed with you, that's not being the bad guy of YouTube. That's I mean, it's not like a two-year-old can yeah. tell. That's not That's... the point, guy. <laughs> yeah, I know. Can't when you fuck them either. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I like your joke, but uh, it's gone past him being like a a guy who. Yeah, he's to... just. I mean, yeah, he's a horrible person, obviously. Yeah. But a lot of YouTubers are downright horrible people. But not to the extent Onision is, and not how many yeah, times he's been exposed. Jared, that like, we know of. His wife and Onision like grooms children to fuck. Them. Well, and, and yeah, one of them has lost lots. He of also started a cult it. one time. Who? Onision. Onision. Oh. Remember Sasseska, that religion yeah. he tried to start. Well, his forums are nothing but child porn. Like. Uh. But if the two-year-old two was not involved, I'd be entirely on board. Of course you want to fuck an 18-year-old girl on her birthday. It's like when she's perfectly cooked. Yeah, you but he started to talking overcook. to the girl at 11, in the peak of his fame. He started. Oh my god, for girl. real? Disgusting. Yes, yes Onision's a terrible human being. Alright, alright, tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. Let's, let's have go you ahead. Have read his book? No, yeah, I have not read his book. book. Yes, he has three books. All about his terrible self-insert. I have read them all. Look, it's wild, right? Okay, the last thing I want to say, because I know I'm taking up most time here and taking this podcast in a weird direction. No, no, it's, it's fine. Thing is such an established pattern of behavior, too, because Sky was a fan before he married her. That's the first wife that would have seizures, and he'd make fun of her on YouTube for it. Um, yeah, she was having stress it, seizures. That's just not no, her. Shiloh. Shiloh had Shiloh. stress seizures. So Sky was the first wife. He was abusive to her all the time, made fun of her on YouTube, and then Shiloh Cheated on was Shiloh also with a fan. Her. Yeah, that he cheated on his girlfriend with. She's a fan. His wife. I think him and Sky got married. He's okay. been married like three or four but times. She was a fan of his. Then Shiloh was a fan of his. Then, then Kai Sarah. was a fan. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Kai. Then Sarah. I forget that Kai was a fan and not also like of. Because she is. She has she's now become these part girls of in. it. Yeah. She's but... luring the last couple. Uh, she lured in Sarah and uh, Regina. But yeah, Kai was a huge fan. Kai was loyal um, too. A big mistake Repsion attributes to himself is he sent a strongly worded letter to Kai's parents when they first got together, mm -hmm. and now he regrets it because it's like I took it too far. But but maybe he should have taken it. I don't know. Further, I don't know. Kai has gotten two underage girls like hooked up into this and like had them sending her. So, this Kai uh, is trans woman too. Uh, hey, hey, you're you're really roboting out, Riley. Wait, what's up? Oh shit! Hold on. Oh, Discord shit in the bed. I think. Oh, Discord shit the bed. Hold on. Uh oh. Oh, wait, Craig's, gone. Craig's gone. Craig's uh, gone. Okay. Now recording. recording. Craig's back. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is wild, dude. Such an established pattern of behavior. Labs? 13 no. years. For 13 yeah. years of YouTube fame. It's... And it all started with a banana. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Jesus. All right, all right, all right. With his banana, too. Okay, so uh, uh, Discord's really starting to crap the bed, so let's go ahead and. Uh, Robin, did you have anything else you want to add? That was pretty much it. I mean, I still like Netflix Originals. I mean, I think Disney. Like I said, Disney Plus is going to be the only streaming platform at some point yeah e eventually depressing. yeah eventually uh, uh eventually disney's just going to buy out everything that they already have around buy out amazon disney, they've already bought no everything disney's out. buying out amazon no but like amazon's going to stop competing in the streaming market at some point when disney has like ev like the rights to literally everything yeah, it's true. Bezos has already said a couple times that his end goal is not Amazon Prime streaming. He doesn't really care about it. All right. Uh, Tommy, the okay, what's your final thoughts on these subjects? Um, my final thoughts on these subjects is no matter how much how much we talk about anything, there was always something more fucked up to show up on the fucking internet, and I never cease to be amazed. And honestly, you could talk about this pedal ring and how fucking unmoralized and scrupulous fucking YouTube is by allowing such fucking beasts of people 
to run on its platform, but we'll censor anybody that says some bad, mean words. Definitely, yeah. definitely. So yeah, that could be a very interesting topic on how I can't say the F word, but some dude can molest kids and still make videos on YouTube. So okay, that's yeah, very yeah. nice. Absolutely. Riley, you, you, can say, you can say the N word in one of your rap songs, but Anisian can fuck an 11 year old or groom 11. Isn't that fucking comedy? Yeah. That's uh, fucked. He was in responded to Chris Hansen's. So we'll see where that goes. Um, she he responded yeah. to an email that he sent her more regarding the fact that there's this list of words that just came out that you can't say on YouTube or you will be demonetized, including okay, Clinton, Clinton, Predator. Like, there's you can't tons say of them. Clinton. You can't say Clinton. The, one of the presidents, you can't say it on YouTube um, because of Hillary Clinton stuff. So you can't say Bill Clinton. Like, what geez, you there's a whole list. List. There are hundreds of words on this list. Go look it up for yourself. Remember to censor um, this part, Mo. We don't want anyone saying Clinton. Lies oh, well, is, well, luckily I'm not monetized, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Yeah. <laughs> you know? One of them is Predator, so they demonetized Chris Hansen's thing he does, which is... You can't like, say Predator. Alien say versus Predator. predator. <laughs> yeah, Alien versus yeah, Predator, Riley, that's not monetized. You can't say the N-word in your raps? I thought you could say the N-word when you're rapping. I say whatever the is, fuck Is I there say. any end goal of this company that isn't just to normalize pedophilia i mean liberals always no, say that. like con conservatives are accusing them uh, uh like say like, making a fallacy like saying it's a slippery slope and that huh. by transgenders and gays they're it's eventually going to lead yeah. to like pedophilia or something but they're every single time it's always some of these corporations trying to normalize pedophilia and cover yeah. it up when it happens well that's what rome that's that is how rome functioned i unironically do believe that the liberalism uh the 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 final version of that is the point where we're fucking kids right like yeah. that complete acceptance of sexuality in society that part of the liberal agenda only leads to pedophilia that, that's um, because we've had it before we've had these same evolutions go that way in a deeply underground like high-powered fashion where it wasn't common knowledge we're fucking kids in rome but it was on the streets like you, you knew you were like oh yeah no we fuck kids like they weren't talking but eventually, about it they didn't they, write but... about it Really? But eventually well, Rome fell, obviously. Yes, they ruled yeah, it, so did the Greeks. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. As as much as I want, uh -huh. as much as I want to talk about, you know, kids sexing each other, you know, on a uh, on a, uh, a podcast about live streaming services and stuff, I'm afraid we're we're gonna have to wrap this episode up because we've been going uh -huh. we've been going about a buck twenty six, man. We we've been doing very good. We have a lot to listen to, so. Uh, Riley, do you have anything you want to plug, bro? ASCPresents.com, soundcloud.com slash VizzyG. That's my main thing now. I'm a rapper, guys. I'm opening up uh, the 30th in Elko, Nevada. I'm opening and I'm hosting the concert, the whole concert, but I am part of the opening act for uh, Strange Music's Godimus. Of Seth's crew. crew. Yeah, nice. so we've got some big stuff happening. We're doing the rap thing. Oh, what about you, Bird? I'll put you, a, I'll put you uh, in my SoundCloud playlist and see if you'll serve as the less problematic replacement for Asperger. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Bird. Uh, ASCpresents.com. Bird O... Or, no, I think I'm something else on Twitter. Bird Stork on Twitter. Um, and Riley's Music, SoundCloud.com slash VizzyG. I'll be there eventually. All right. Either, what about you? Well, I don't have any sort of social media presence, but if anyone wants links to Discord servers that are infested with degenerate psychopaths, I'm your man. Oh, Christ. All right, cool, I'm cool. Right. We'll get with I'm you right. later. Give me the Discord. All of that. All right, uh, Kim Jong Shil. I got a server full of gay Muslims. I have one. All right, Kim, jo Kim Jong Skill. We'll, we'll talk about all this afterwards. Kim, do you have anything you want to talk? I'm also not on any platform, but check out OJJ and buy his pissing creature shirts. Uh, pretty nice. All right, uh, Riley Brooks, you got anything you want to hawk, man? Follow me at follow me at Riley Tweets on Twitter. Subscribe to me on YouTube. That's where you can find all of my podcast content as well as some videos and shit. Mostly podcasts. The videos are bad. The podcasts are okay. Oh, okay, okay. You didn't actually plug the name of the YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too late. Go ahead. Go ahead. And when you search for it, it auto corrects to a different spelling of Riley. So you have to specifically click search instead for and then my actual name. And that's when you find it. What's it auto correct to? 
It auto corrects to your spelling. That's right. <laughs> God damn, that's fucked. All right, Robin, do you have anything you'd like to hawk? Yeah, you can find me on Twitter at Inside Alloy. And same for my Twitch. You can go to twitch.tv slash Inside Alloy. All right, Tommy, you got anything, bro? Uh, no, twitch.tv slash OJJ. That's all, all right. I got. I, cool, yeah. Yeah, twitch.tv slash OJJ. He's a really awesome streamer J-U-J. all around. Uh, J-U-J as well. Anyway, uh, appreciate everyone coming out. I hope you guys uh, liked the podcast. If you did, go ahead and hit the sub button. Turn the notification bell. go live. And, and, oh, no, no, wait, that's that's my Twitch like, stuff. Like, comment, and uh, subscribe. Yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. That's the spiel. Sorry, I get my Twitch spiel and my YouTube spiel kind of mixed up sometimes. So, uh, five stars. Yes, rate five stars. Uh, you know, climb up the road, <laughs> ring a ding the bell. Uh, Sweet, check me, Thanks, check us, me. check us out on BitChute because we're actually doing pretty decent on BitChute. We don't have comments yet, but we're getting the views that I want, and I'm really happy for that. Uh, problem is, we're not getting HD stuff on there until they get the fundraising. So, if y'all I feel are a cool fan, and edgy because I'm on a podcast that's on BitChute. I feel <laughs> well, I it's feel the edge. Well, no, Did like you get it, kicked off YouTube or something. No, I'm just all, I'm just also posting to uh, Bitshoot because I see the writing on the wall. Bitshoot is going to be the new hotness real soon, and I'm getting in on it while the getting's good. Nah, oh, man, Vanilla's gonna come back and it's gonna what the... rise. Bitch, Riley, I will slap the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Riley, I like that. We'll, we'll start talking to that. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Please add the controversial reaction on thinkspot.com slash modiggity. <laughs> what, what's that? That's the first <laughs> I've ever heard of that. That's yeah, it's the first that anyone's ever heard podcast. of it. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta end this. It's Jordan it. Peterson's Patreon. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> boo! <laughs> Did you <laughs> fuck Jordan Peterson? <laughs> Dick <laughs> Masterson, <laughs> Dick... <laughs> Dick Masterson, in like a couple of weeks and several six packs, thumped out a Patreon alternative that's <laughs> awesome. How can a bunch of pill popping old, old fucking boomers can't do it in like almost a year after they declare that they were? So much for your fucking free speech alternative. Fuck Jordan Peterson I'm up his stupid ass. And with that, I'm ending the podcast. Thank you for coming out. I really appreciate it. And until next time, ta ta. Okay. Dude, I want to do like another.